a NovaWorks illustration of its modular satellite design. Credit NovaWorks San Francisco. On October 25, astronauts on board the International Space Station plan to link NovaWorks spacecraft building blocks in the first in-orbit test of a radically new approach to satellite design and manufacturing. Instead of fitting spacecraft components into a rectangular bus as companies have for decades, NovaWorks invented hyper-integrated satellite tissets, identical 7-kilogram modules with everything a satellite needs to function, including communications, pointing, power, data processing and propulsion. Satellite builders can make any number of hissets, which measure 20 by 20 by 10 centimeters and snap together like Legos, to their payloads on Earth or in orbit. Software determines the role each hisset should play. If one hisset subsystem begins to fail, for example, the same subsystem on other hissets can help. It's an approach Talbot Yeager, founder and chief technologist of Los Alamitos, California-based NovaWorks, came up with while contemplating the wonders of biological stem cells. The architecture comes alive as it starts to grow, Yeager told Space News. It creates an organism you can't defeat. After years of development and ground testing plus two years of storage on ISS, NovaWorks engineers and their partners are waiting for the first in-orbit demonstration of their technology. If all went as planned, on October 25th astronauts will assemble a small satellite by snapping together six hissets and two deployable solar arrays built by Pumpkin with an electro-optical imager in a NASA-sponsored mission called Satellite Initial Proofs and Lessons SIMPL. Then astronauts plan to launch the newly assembled small satellite from ISS on October 27 using the NanoRacks Kaber microsatellite deployer, providing a key test of how well the hissets function as a single unit. Can they detect each other, recognize they've been put together and think as a group to get power and maintain altitude? The ager asked. Dave Barnhart, director of the University of Southern California's Space Technology and Systems Group, is eager to see. Like everyone who has been watching NovaWorks' efforts to transform the way satellites are built, Barnhart, who awarded NovaWorks a contract in 2012 to build HISITS for the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency's Phoenix program, which he managed, wants to see HISITS work in space. For 50 to 60 years, we've built satellites as monolithic entities, Barnhart said. If we can now build something that is held together by cells that can actually function like a satellite, that's a huge deal. Andrew Coleman, founder, president, CTO of CubeSat manufacturer Pumpkin and a longtime NovaWorks partner, said engineers tend to devote a lot of time and effort to designing satellites that are slightly different. Talbot is looking at it from the ground up and saying, if we could have something that could handle all these things with a minimum of further engineering, what would it look like? He has made a very good case that his architecture is one way to do that, Kalman said. The ISS experiment will provide the first evidence of how well HISATs work in orbit, but additional tests are coming. DARPA is evaluating several launch options to fly HISATs to low Earth orbit in 2018, said Bill Crandall, NovaWorks Advanced Projects Chief. As part of the Phoenix program aimed at demonstrating innovative, lower-cost satellite architectures, DARPA wants to launch 14 HISATs linked with Raytheon space-enabled effects from military engagements CME imaging satellite as part of the Experiment for Cellular Integration Technologies. The experiment is designed to show whether HISATs remain linked when exposed to launch forces and, once in orbit, whether they can separate from CME and adjust to the change by immediately reconfiguring their software. Because NovaWorks sees HISITS as all-purpose satellite tools, the company is eager to show that the modules can be assembled to form spacecraft of various shapes and sizes on the ground or in orbit. For example, a customer might want to assemble core elements of a spacecraft on the ground, launch it and then add HISITS robotically. This will enable the dreamers to think differently about building the space stations, docks and vehicles for the Moon, Mars and Deep Space, Yeager said. We can't keep doing it with fixed designs. We are trying to build the next generation of space tools. Stanford, USC and NASA's Langley Research Center are among the first to test the tools NovaWorks is developing. Langley researchers plan to measure the radiation exposure of airline crews and passengers with a sensor packaged called Rapid Response Radiation Survey. The conformal satellite platform allowed us to rapidly integrate a reasonably complex experiment, Nathaniel Miller, a NASA Langley aerospace technologist and mission developer, said by email. It's basically a plug-and-play system for satellites, Kerry Rhodes, NASA Langley Small Sot Lead, said by email. NovaWorks shows payload developers how to link with the HISIT common interface and gives developers its application's programming interface. They can take their payload and run it through all the tests with our satellite, Crandall said. When they go to orbit they know it works. This story was provided by Space News, dedicated to covering all aspects of the space industry.